Good morning all, hope you're doing well. The sentiment overview for the 11th of the 8th, 2022. The inflation has cooled, which is causing a lot of um, roller coaster on the um, on the markets right now. We knew we were risk on at the big picture, and so we kind of knew you know things would rally. And uh, the 24-hour difference has been confirming that big picture all week. So we knew, we know fairly with a fairly good degree of confidence that we were going to rally. If it was going to dump, it would have just been a momentary payday for the retail guys. But we would look to buy the dips because we want to be doing the opposite of these guys. Now they were quite caught, um, trapped actually, minus 9.5. So every, every one person buying indices, there's nearly 10 people shorting uh, risk, right? So they're going to be trapped. And if things continue higher, they're going to have to exit. Or if um, what might happen is that they add and they add to that, um, they try and get out of break even. So they're going to try and average out and so that's possibly what we're seeing in the 24-hour difference is that these guys are stuck and I think, well, what if I just add a little bit more, then I can bring my average higher and then once it does fall, then I can get out of break even. However, we don't know if it's going to fall or not. After yesterday's data, we should be rallying, fundamentally speaking. VIX is below 20, so that's a big deal. And, um, you know, we're well far away from the yearly perfect now, 26.5. Uh, if we go above 26.5, then we can be pretty risk off. And But we're quite far from the yearly pivot. So, you know, we can carry on. We, that can carry on getting hammered. And uh, we might have a risk, fully risk on week. Um, so I have to wait and see. I've done some analysis for the Discord um, regarding the indices. So do check that out. It's a two minute, uh, three minute video. So it's worth looking at that. I covered US 30, US 500, DAX and gold. Um, so the yields fell, which would be understandable. There's not so much fear and worry. And, but the 30 year did rise ever so slightly. So that would make sense. You know, the, you know, the CPI wasn't it cooled, which is great because we really didn't want that to continue higher because uh, it was going to get out of control. And uh, obviously us, like common folk, are going to suffer as well because as things get more expensive but wages aren't increasing so it's going to what would have been quite problematic if it continued higher so we're going to be fundamentally quite risk on right so fundamentally speaking and we see that reflected in the yields and hopefully what will happen that these get uh, sorted out because this is unhealthy right now we don't want this curve this curvature is not good so this is risk off and um, we want that to uh, we want that to straighten, not not to bend like that. It's not good. Uh, just to say about the twenty six point five for VIX, just put an alert, and then I don't know if we're going to be above that. You know, something's going to have to happen news wise um, for that to you know price the VIX to get above that. We're going to have to get some kind of risk event now because that inflation data was quite a big deal. Uh, so we might be okay. We could be fully risk on, as long as we don't go above that. Um, so DAX, you know, they sold it because the gas pipeline and <laughs> thing, and they've been selling it for a while. Yesterday they didn't really sell it so much on the average, but according to today's data compared to last Thursday, they have. Uh, so oil is making a sell and DAX is making a buy. Your yen is a, uh, well, it's, it's a mismatch. You don't want the two to align, right? And uh, so green, green is okay. Red, red is okay. Red, green isn't so good. So you probably might want to avoid that. If you're looking for a trade op, don't trade something that's mismatched. Aussie yen, for example. You know, you probably want to avoid that. Um, where are we? So the dollar is on the back foot, uh, but understandably because you know it's regarded as a safe haven. If we're going to be risk on, there isn't that much desire for a dollar, and so the you know the riskier currencies are going to appreciate against the dollar, and we'll see this being impacted. And note that this isn't reset on Sunday. This is from last week. Well, this is from last Thursday. So if you're looking at these and going, oh, this is strange. How, how, how do you work that out? It's simply where we are right now to, to the minute to last Thursday. And so that's that. So that's how this is calculated. It rolls the data over uh, on a weekly basis, but it's not reset on Sunday. It's just continued. It just continues and it rolls on. Um, so that's... Uh, something posted in Discord, so do check that out. I posted it five minutes ago. 
Well, it feels like longer than that. <laughs> that was only five minutes ago. That's a bit crazy. It feels like this, bu- this bulletin takes an hour to do, so uh, do check that channel anyway. I'm not sure if that time's correct. It can't be five minutes ago. I think I probably that was at 7.40 maybe. But anyway, have a look in the Discord, and there's a trade set up there. So, uh, so far, so good. It's going well. Um, yeah, it's a bit bonkers. <laughs> it's that demo up in there. Maybe it's seven forty. I think that's what it was. Um, yeah, that makes sense, isn't it? Seven fifty four. That's when I populated this. So uh, greens are buy and red to sell, but we want to see confirmation over time, and uh, you know, see the indices are green. All of them are green, and uh, dollar Swiss is the heaviest sell. So you know, sentimentally, it's good for a short. Uh, note that gold is also a sell as well. Uh, S&P, so they sold it uh, as noted in the Discord. Um, so, you know, we had the heads up there and up we went. We really rocketed. Um, I, I'd like to say as expected because of our risk calculation. Um, you know, we do it every day. So we kind of knew, we you know, we would be risk on just by looking at the big picture, you know. Um, not to boast or anything like that, just stating the fact, just that we calculate this data every day. And we have done for every day for years. So we know we're keeping on top of the risk calc. And so we had the heads up there. And um, so there's the buy. So we're looking to buy, obviously. And like Quite US 30, <laughs> become. And there's the DAX here. This is my little analysis in Discord. If they sell it, then we'll be buy. And uh, poor bears. And, but however, if they go long here, then it'll be intraday top. So be careful. What's happening to DAX right now? That they're buying the dip, as you'll see in Discord. I put a video in there. What we're getting is a crossover here, and it's making a sell. So uh, these guys got screwed. No, sorry, these guys got screwed. They try to buy this dip, um, this rip, and they're going to get screwed. All right. So they're always going to be behind the actual move. They're always going to be losing and counter trend. And they're trying to think, oh, well, maybe I'll buy here. This is going to be okay. And, of course, the moment they, they all do that as a herd will fall. And, but they don't realize that. That's a trouble. Uh, however, you see that that candle there relates to this one. They sold it here, as you can see, in the hexagon. And they did sell it, as we can see. So uh, we came a lot. And it's a 200-point move from that tick. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll become so it just goes to show the sentiment is uh, it's the best for price direction uh, it overrules the fundamentals most of the time however when we do get a big news event the fundamentals do kick in obviously uh, gold making sell you know there you know so it's a bit naughty they went long but price went up and then it did this horrible spike on that CPI and it just shook, shook them out and do saw that effect here it's a horrible zigzag should come out and then try to buy the dip here. So it's pretty horrible. That would have got you out at a loss probably. And uh, you're looking to re-enter, but you don't have a clue which way it's going to go unless you're looking at the sentiment. <laughs> right? So these guys are absolutely clueless about what's going to happen. But we know <laughs> we can look at that and go, right, well, it's a sell. We're crossing the 21 moving average. So down we come. Uh, so the stop loss clusters. So... Um, Largest mover, well, that that's not right. That's actually wrong. That's a dollar CAD for 12% shift. Uh, me, actually, just bear with me. Sorry about this. Uh, yeah, it, that's wrong. That's a dollar CAD. It's the biggest mover at a plus 12. I didn't obviously overlooked the dollar CAD. Uh, view, uh, mode, viewing. Oh, of course. Um, Oh shit. <laughs> Edit. Sell. Oh, sorry about that. Right. Ugh. Uh, right. Yeah, so that's the largest mover. And uh, well it ties with Kiwi USD, but you can see they both moved at twelve percent. That's a positive shift, that's a negative shift. If it's negative, that means that they sold it. If it's positive, they yeah, they bought it. So if they buy it, it's a sell. If they sell it, it's a buy. Right, so we're always doing the opposite of the retail guys. So basically Dollar CAD and Kiwi USD are joint movers, right? So just uh, bear that in mind when you look at the 
bulletin. The largest stop loss cluster is AU at 70.30, the size is 4.37, and the SLC position is much higher and it's larger than yesterday. It's a bit, quite a bit larger, it's 1% larger than it was yesterday. So they're gathering stops up at that level, and that's where they have their stops currently. Um, so that's the promo code, so you probably know already, but if you don't, after the 1st of September, it's going to lose its power and it's going to go back to 10% discount. It's the quasi DB code at FX SSI. Um, so it will cost you $31 after the 1st of September. So get it locked in while you can, otherwise it's going to cost you 31 bucks. If you get it in now on an annual plan, you'll get this big saving. See, it normally costs uh, $31. Currently with the quasi DB code, it's $10. So get that an annual and you lock that in for a year. It's totally up to you, but it's something I would do, especially as you know how amazing the uh, indicators are. And also incidentally, check that video I put into Discord about the alerts on the indicators. That's something that you might not know about. So I just uh, put a little video in the main trading chat on Discord. Uh, it's just how to get notifications. Uh, so they're getting a bit squished, but the dollar they're getting paid. So we know from experience that this, this doesn't last that long and uh, they'll get a little bit of profit and unfortunately they'll uh, they'll get screwed and they'll get chewed up and then they'll get slaughtered. So they're currently getting paid in their dollar positions, which is fine, you know, it, it probably should happen because, you know, they want them to come back to the casino. However, that is kind of unusual and it shouldn't be that low. It should be a bit higher. So be careful with dollar. They're getting paid on the dollar crosses and then we're going to see a nasty reversal where they're going to, you know, be at a loss, you know, so that's just one of those things. I remember Friday can be a little bit of a payday as well. So uh, we shouldn't expect this to be too high. We don't want them to get completely annihilated and uh, destroyed. We don't really want that to happen. You know, they're a good source of liquidity and a great source of data for us as well. So we don't want them to leave the casino. I think maybe 63% is probably a good figure for Friday. Um, Thursday we could probably be a little bit higher, probably about 70% would be fairly normal, but Monday they get really destroyed. I think we had 98% on Monday, <laughs> which is really horrible. Uh, so yeah, it's cool because you can just check, you know, this in real time, this changes every minute. Uh, signals, we had a 219 pip profit yesterday, <laughs> which is pretty amazing. And pound USD was our greatest trade. And our worst trade is the dollar CAD. Uh, so that's the 24 pip loss. In total, it's 219. That's going to really help uh, this week. We'll have a positive week now. I can't see today and tomorrow going terribly. Uh, because of that, we'll have a positive week. So um, good stuff, really. And it just proves it does work. You just need a bit of patience. Technical check. So we're possibly going to get GU by dollar yen sell, dollar Swiss sell. Aussie USD buy, dollar CAD sell, Kiwi USD buy. So technicals are lining up. All we need is the sentiment to match. And don't forget, we look at the baskets. And when I say the bubbles, I mean the baskets. So if you need me to help you understand how we derive pairs from the bubbles, that's fine. I can help you. Or I can just point you to the video guide section in Discord. Uh, because we don't look necessarily at the currency pair, we look at the dollar basket versus the yen basket, and then we derive a synthetic pair from the bubbles, right? So we don't look necessarily at the pair itself, but we look at the basket versus the basket, and it gives you a very powerful eagle eye view of the sentiment. I don't think anyone does that, I think. I think we're very unique in that way. Uh, PPI later, and then we've got a slew of data from the UK. So be careful of pound. Um, you know what the pound's like. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna um, yo-yo pretty much on GDP. And I think we've got the UK Premiership um, contention as well, the uh, PM. So that's ongoing. Although it's not really making much news at the moment, so I wonder what's going on there. So be careful of the pound. We've got some pretty heavy data later from the States and just remember to trade safely and to keep calm as well and to, you know, don't let the stress levels get you. And for me, I uh, would enter probably around about 70% and then we know that the trap's in place and we'll see how we go. So we've got a positive week and that's great. I can't see today and tomorrow going, 
that bad to be honest with you because it looks like the guys are trapped on you know now so uh, we we'll have to wait and see what happens remember Dax did make a sell uh, on the discord so be careful they've gone long against their 21 moving average so maybe this would be a shakeout uh, candle so be careful and I'll see you guys tomorrow so just trade carefully and you should be fine see you later